How you doing? It's just Stipe back again and rather quickly um, in the same clothing because I'm reviewing the second portion of the Alpha Line stack that I got. So if you've watched the first video, you'll know that I thoroughly enjoyed the Alpha Line Superhuman, uh, what is it? Superhuman Pump um, formula that they had. Uh, this was like that mixture of the pump ingredients with the nootropics to get the best, I guess, of both worlds without having the caffeine, the DMA, etc. Now, loved that one. Pretty much liked everything about it. I thought the nootropic elements were spot on. I thought the flavor was remarkable. Like, I mean, you don't expect it to taste this good and most pump formulas don't really tend to. Um, so yeah, that was Alpha Lion Superhuman Supreme, sorry, Superhuman Pump. And now we've got Alpha Lion Superhuman Supreme. Now they've got the Alpha Lion Superhuman, which is I guess more of the daily driver. And then they've got this like more advanced stim version of um, Alpha Lion Superhuman Supreme. Now I'll just be flat out honest with you. This was one I just ordered because of everyone else's hype. It was similar to the Superhuman Pump one. The only difference is I didn't even know what the label on this is. In fact, I still don't. So as stupid as this sounds, I'm going to have to actually find the label now because I've got this small bottle, so yeah, you can't really read it all that well. But um, the reason I wanted to get it, as I said just before, was everyone seemed to rave about it. I didn't really find anyone that said, you know what, it's it's okay. Um, everyone can say it was like a standout, standout um, ingredient. And I get it, like uh, especially if I'm comparing it to how good uh, the pump one was. All right, I'm just gonna bring up the ingredients list, assuming that they're gonna freaking show it to me. Where is it? All right, here it is. Let's look at it. So you've got the, it's, so it's broken down in different type of um, systems. So you've got their superhuman energy and focus. You've got caffeine and hydrus at 300 milligrams. That I like, I, I prefer everything to be sub 400. I'm not a big fan of this whole 450, 400, 500, 600, 650. Like it, at that stage, I mean, fuck it, man. Just give me the heart attack. That's just so much, so much of it. Um, alrighty. Then you got juniper berry extract. That's an ingredient. I'll, I'll just flat out be honest with you. I'm not too sure what exactly it does. I haven't really done any research on it. But then you got uh, dimethylene citrate. So that's pretty much like a version of DMHA slash Rigerensis. Um, I think it's more so related to Rigerensis. It's not a hard version from my memory. I could be wrong. Um, you got 200 milligrams, which tends to be that sweet spot for it. You got infant energy, uh, the caffeine melate. So that's more caffeine. Prefer to not have it, but or at least I prefer to have it like, let's just say 250, 225 caffeine and hydrus, and then 100 milligrams of Infinergy. Though you do really feel this, so I'll tell you that up front. Then you got uh, N-methyltyramine, HCL, 75 milligram, another good energy and focus freaking ingredient. Um, now we go into the second portion. I actually did not realize just how big this label is in terms of the amount of ingredients. And nor did I know it was a 17 gram scoop. It does not feel like a 17 gram scoop. So I wonder if maybe I undertoast it, but, um, you got L citrulline malate two to one at 7,000 milligrams. Very nice dosage. You got L taurine at 1000 milligrams and you got S seven, um, which is just a mixture of different bean extracts, different fruit and vegetable types to help produce a nice little pump at hundred milligrams. You got beta alanine at 3.5, which is identical to the pump ingredient from memory from the pump formula. Uh, that's quite nice and it's quite a hefty dosage. It's a little bit above clinical. And you got beta and hydrus, 2,500 milligrams, another nice dosage. And then you got an ingredient that a lot of people hate. I don't mind it. Sometimes it does feel like it tapers things off with L-theanine. Sometimes it doesn't. It's hard to know. I think it depends on the quality of it and how much people put in. If I remember correctly, and I've never tried it, the older version of uh, Superhuman Supreme had like 300 milligrams or some shit of it, which that seems preposterous because I'm like, what are you putting in there that you need 300 milligrams? 
Um, then you got estrogen and bioperine, estrogen at 50 milligrams, bioperine at 10 milligrams. I have no problem with that. It just essentially helps you absorb everything. All right. I mentioned flavor of the superhuman pump formula, the mango vaniac being one of the best. This is better than it. Um, I got the cherry popper and it is fucking unbelievable. Like for a pre-workout formula, this is like damn near too good. Like to an extent where I, I want to have this right now in a cup of water because of the taste, not because of what it does. Um, it seems like everyone has talked about how great the flavoring system was. I never read too much into that because I've been told the neuro, neuro pump, uh, Nova pump, sorry, neuro was meant to taste good and it was absolute dog shit. Like, so, you know, each their own, but this cherry popper is just spot on. A lot of the time, the cherry flavors are either too tarty or they just are way too sweet. This is neither of those. This is just the right amount of sweet. It's not that off-putting tartness. And it's really, really nice tasting. Like it tastes very tropical, very fresh. There's no aftertaste, which is weird because you've got two absorption mixes in it. It really gets the job done. All right. How are the effects? So this, I'll start off by saying that this is not a steam junkie to me pre-workout. It's not a daily driver, but it's not a steam junkie. I would put this in the same type of category as something like um, Big Black by, what's her name? Is it Nutraceutical or something like that? Um, Let me see, what's their name again? Oh yeah, Inspired. Um, It's strong. But it's not one of those like it'll leave you whacked or anything like that. And it makes sense. It doesn't have like the MAA in it, alpha you can buy in, etc. And then nothing is so over the top. You're not getting 600 milligrams of caffeine. You're not getting 400 milligrams of rhydrosis. It's more of a well-balanced turtle package. It's got some pump. It's got some focus. It's got some mood elevation. It really tries to be the one that covers just about everything. And did it do that? I found that it did. I found that the focus on it was really nice. It was smooth. Um, you really wanted to do your workout, get into the zone. Your music sounded better. And you're just genuinely motivated. Um, the focus on it was, yeah, like really spot on. Not one of the strongest, but once again, uh, you can't compare this to, let's just say, Crack or Preface KO. They're just different products. The strength I felt on it was quite nice, quite consistent, especially considering I'm coming from an injury and I'm trying to work back into it. And I did took this on an empty stomach and it was like 3 p.m. in Western Australia when I started working out. So, you know, it's not exactly like I took this, you know, in the best of conditions. Um, it gave great energy. I felt like it lasted for quite a nice while. And then the L-theanine actually felt, you know, like pretty much perfect in this. When it tapered off was exactly when I wanted it to. Worked out, had a great workout, did some strength and conditioning type of stuff on top of it. So I did a chest workout, a little bit of shoulders, and then I did some like no knees over toes guy type of stuff. You know, Jefferson curls, um, walking backwards with a sled, etc. I mean, it took about an hour 30, hour 45, which is exactly how long this lasted. And when it tapered off, there was no crash, there was no come down, no nothing. Just felt good, felt back like normal. So I can't say really anything faulty about this. And if anything, uh, considering this is a 17 gram scoop, or that's like the serving size, I wonder if maybe I put in maybe 13, 14 grams. The scoop is not very large. So yeah, it's interesting in that way. Now, I don't just want to cover this by itself because I promise I'll cover what these are when taken in conjunction. Love these together. Like these together is a perfect cocktail for a pre-workout. For one, you're not having a disgusting pre-workout. And if you double a pre-workout, like a pump formula, and then a pre-workout formula with caffeine, you you know, you're probably gonna feel like shit if they both taste like shit. They both taste great. The pumps on it are just stupid. It's almost too much. Like I took both today. That's why I decided to do the review, because I 
tried them both separately and now I've tried them today together, it's almost painful how long the pumps last. And the pumps last it after I finished working out. And it's like, I did my chest work, I finished it, did about 20 minutes of other things as I mentioned, and I still had a full chest pump. Like it just would not go away. And it's a healthy feeling. It's not like we've got so much blood that you can't even do the movements. Um, the nootropic element really worked hand in hand. Um, you just felt so dialed in. You felt, you really felt like you wanted to do more, but it wasn't an urgency that say a DMAA or an Excelsior, let's just say, where you not only feel like you're doing more, but it's almost like it's uncomfortable if you don't do more. This one felt like you were in control, but you had an extra step. Look, I, there's just nothing bad I can say about these. Um, the fact that they come in these small tubs so that you can you know, spend less money for, let's just say, a small dosage. And for someone like me who I'm not going to... I've got about 30 to 40 tubs of pre-workout. I just give them away now to friends because I, I take them once or twice. And even if they're phenomenal, I can only use them for so long. You know, that if I'm trying to review a product a week, sometimes two, if it's a Steam Junkie one, I can't take it that week because I only do Steam Junkie stuff once. That's my rule. All right, look, I hope you enjoyed that. And I'm not affiliated with any of these products. I'm a dude from Western Australia. Like this all cost me quite a bit. But if you do want to try any of these, man, I can't really recommend these enough. I don't recommend either more than the other. It's simple. If you want a pre-workout with caffeine, with Araya, get the Superhuman Supreme. It's phenomenal. The flavor's out of this world. And that's not even meant to be the best flavor. They've got like the gummies or something, gummy bears, and then other flavors that are meant to be even better, like Blue Mojito. This one, if you're looking for a great pre-workout that has no steams in it, it's just a nice, smooth pump formula with nootropics. Dude, you cannot go wrong with this. I think this is actually now my favorite pump formula because of the all-around element that it gives. It was what I wanted Nova Pump Neuro to be. This actually ended up being with a great taste. So look, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, the next pre-workout I will be reviewing is Dark Labs Flame. That, I would argue, is my most anticipated pre-workout review of all time. Because it was, boy, was it hard to get that one to Western Australia. It took me a while to actually have it delivered. Like, I mean, a while. Um, so the fact that I've got it now, I haven't tried it yet. When I do, I'll give an initial kind of reaction to it, and then I'll do a full review of it. All right, peace out, everybody. Hope you have a lovely time. If you have any other pre-workouts, that are brand new or that are all time greats and you want me to try them or you want to suggest them, feel free. Peace out guys.